Jingle High, we showed you that Christmas countdown clock earlier. Time quickly flying by to get out and get those gifts. And you know that the stores are going to be so busy on Saturday. So Kissy Life's Jorge Andres is live for us at the Target store in North Lake this morning. Ooh, Jorge, where do you start when we're this close, right? Look, when we're this close, we got to have a plan. That's what I always say. Have a plan on what you're going to purchase, where you're going to go. Now, keep this in mind. Uh, right now, sales this year are expected uh, to go grow about 3 to 4%. That, according to the National Retail uh, Federation, we're talking about $957 billion to $966 billion. Now, Super Saturday is this Saturday, the first time that it's fallen on a Saturday, December 23rd, since 2017. Now, it is expected that sales are going to rise from there, and lots of stores like the Target in North Lake are aware of that. They want to take advantage of that. They want to help the consumer out. They want to help the holiday uh, shoppers out there. Uh, the Squishmallow is one of the things that, that they have that is something that's important to them, that the kids love. But again, to those numbers, the NRF is predicting 142 million people will shop this Super Saturday sale. That's down from 159 million with those last... Uh, minute sales uh, last year. What I found very interesting, though, was that shift that we're seeing between shopping in the stores, shopping online, and doing a little bit of both. Right now, the one that's leading the pack, and no surprise, are people that are combining both shopping online and shopping in stores. Our generation dolls are some of the best dolls that uh, kids right now, I know my kids love them, and right now it's 22% of people are only shopping online while 41 percent of those people are combining both and 37 are just doing stores if you're a last minute shopper and you're looking at the our generation dolls at the squish mallows at the bicycle that i almost fell off of when i started uh, the tease in the segment today it's those kind of deals that you're going to be able to take advantage of a last minute is those type of deals that you're going to be able uh, to focus on and whether it's you order ahead and perhaps you pick it up uh, in in places like Target that has it available until 4 p.m. on Christmas Eve, or whether it's you order it within time for it to be delivered before Christmas. This is my, my the one take, and I know Kristen's going to laugh at this, but this is the one take that I found very interesting uh, from this survey that the NRF had. It was that about 48% of people are going to try to take advantage of promotions after Christmas, mm -hmm. because there's going to be a lot of promotions, uh, not just from Target, but from other uh, places uh, around the country that are going to target people after Christmas, uh, holiday stuff, gift card stuff. And look, sometimes, sometimes that's not a bad thing. Yeah, I, I do like an after Christmas deal, Jorge. So I'm not, I'm not gonna laugh at you too hard for that because that's, I, that's where I lean in <laughs> on deals for sure. Um, that Target looks kind of empty behind you. I've been to Target probably seven times. I've been to a lot of stores seven times in the past couple of weeks, and they've always been busy except for one day. What is it like in there this morning? Look, in here, you have the early birds that, that are looking uh, to get those last minute things. And like you mentioned, Kristen, to avoid those crowds, those lines. Now, the store is prepared and is expecting plenty of people. They're expecting not just pickup orders, but they're also expecting uh, foot traffic and people in here. Um, it's going to get crazier the closer we get to Christmas Eve. Uh, but right now we're seeing people trying to avoid that. Uh, it started since we got here. It got a little busier. So just in the in the past hour, it's gotten busier. And you can expect more things. But a lot of retailers uh, being proactive about it, uh, overstaffing, if you will, uh, and to make sure to avoid those very long lines that nobody wants a headache on Christmas Eve. Yeah. Uh, you know, so many of us have tried to shop local as much as we can. But yeah. sometimes you just got to go to Walmart, Target, Kohl's, wherever you're going to go and get some of the things there. Hey, Jorge, can you do me a favor? Can you pick up some of these tied to go uh, little things before you come back for me? Because Josh forgot to add this as part of his, um, yeah, good. Make that list. Good. Um, as part of his I gift gotta make the list. I gotta make the you list. spill wine on you, you can use these to clean it right up. How cute is that? I know. There I it know. is. It's brilliant. So well, I'm getting the value okay. pack then. I'm getting the combo pack. <laughs> yeah, you need it. Pack. You need it at you your house. You can leave them in the QC office. We're a little messy in there, too. <laughs> but we don't drink. We don't drink. Not to drink. Just messy in general. <laughs> Chocolate, mainly. Jorge, thank you. Get your shopping done. I know you have a little left to do, and we'll see you coming when you come back here. Five or six more gifts. I can do it. You can do it. Do it right now. And buy some wrapping paper.